it's like an all 101 and hello right. papa oh, the, come here baby he's allergic um it does need to be uh registered and inspected mine in i'm sorry I'm folks but i am allergic to dog to doggos come here. And, uh, so I did my oh we got a bench seat up here <clears throat> oh look at that transmission lever well anyway let's get off Let me get the desk. Let's get a desk. Look. Take it for a little spin. This one's the best Sounds good. Uh, what do we do about this wiper? I'm gonna just squeeze on over like that. Wow. Turn up that AC. First impressions, this truck is pretty good. So put this down, so we have a center console. We gotta say. Sun visor, bit of a broken bezel, but that's the least of my worries. Toolbox. Go and pop the hood. <laughs> Looks like we're running the 3.6 liter. What is that? The V6? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty economical. I'm sure it's got a little bit of to it. You know the horsepower? Okay. Stay away, doggo. You make me sneeze uncontrollably. The uh, bed could use some cleaning, the, the toolbox. Like 11 to 1 or 115. I didn't realize it was got a crack. It's got full manual windows. That's a new, that's something. It's basically a fleet model, bare bones. Why is the thermometer 88 degrees? Well, at least we got automatic headlights. It's manual everything. Yes, it is. Manual locks, manual windows, no navigation system. Oh, have a look at this. I pull down the center console. It's got three cup holders. Wow. The transmission's right here and you just twist. Just like that. Okay. Fasten up my seat, though. I pushed down the lock. Yeah, hopefully not. I am very far back. You parked our truck in an unfortunate spot. Yeah, Should we turn on the radio? Sure. I need to figure out how to do that. There we go. Media center outline. Basic, but they're acceptable speakers. They're really good speakers. No, that's radio. Well, I mean, we have, I think that's either a 3.5 millimeter or a Bluetooth. I think this is Bluetooth. Yeah, media. That might be for USB or Bluetooth. Uh, I don't know if there's any plug in for it. Yep. Windshield wipers work. Oh, we have a USB on my side. Yeah. So I can plug in my phone and take media out to the speakers. I think I see the crack, but. That's not gonna bother me, I don't think. Well, even with all these so-called luxuries, the truck is still has truck suspension. It's definitely bouncier than the Lincoln Navigator. Yeah. We're about to launch. Three, two, yes. one, go! I just heard tire squealing. Whoa, watch, it's 6,500 RPM. It's definitely got some power. <laughs> I think. I definitely heard some tire smoke. No, tire squealing. And did you see the tachometer go to 6,000 something? So we're now on the highway. We're gonna see how well it does out here. By the way, this is misleading. Don't know how they got adult hits on this FM radio station, but it's not that. See how 
Oh, I missed this. I think that might be a fuse box. It's still, it's... Let's put that back up. Yes. Passing test. Go for it, brake test. Woo! Oh, oh, these are some strong brakes. It actually caused this seatbelt to lock. Just did this. What was that? No something? It said it's just a good solid little truck. Okay, but you said there was no something, so that's good. No carpet. Ah, no carpet. It's just plastic. You know what I just realized? I don't think this thing has a satellite radio. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. Does it have a USB jack? Uh, yeah. It does. Up there. Inside the set of console. We almost hit the web limiter there. I tell you what, it feels like this truck really enjoys accelerating. It really likes that. Like the way it looks? Yeah, I think it looks really nice. We didn't test the horn. Pretty good. I think that's a little more than just a logo. My phone's too wide to fit in there. Okay, we can put it like... No, nope. No, can go like that, kinda. Looks like the thermometer is regulating itself, getting itself correct. The tire is supposed to be the biggest expense. Probably so. All around, and overall, I'm sorry. This is a pretty decent fleet truck. I mean, you gotta remember, this was built with fleets in mind. Meant to be mass produced at a rapid success and at a rapid rate of speed. So you can't really afford to put luxuries on here. But even without the luxuries, this is still a very good truck.